welcome to the Train Rails plugin for Unreal Engine. When you buy this content pack, you'll get everything you see here. That includes the logic to drive the trains around the rails, the visuals, and the meta sounds driving the audio. Let's take a look first at the visuals. We've got a highly realistic and detailed modern diesel engine here, as well as matching box cars. The paint colors are completely customizable on the engine and the cars. These two trains running around this large loop actually have randomized colors. So the color of the engine and of each car and whether or not the engine has a stripe is different each time you run this demo. You can also pre-configure the colors as I've done on these box cars here. They are the same each time you run the demo. This engine has randomized colors, so run it again, you'll see another color pattern. Uh, these box cars have their, their doors open. Just to demonstrate, you can open the doors, you can put in some luggage or a person maybe, uh, depending on what you need for your project. And you can absolutely have open doors on moving train cars. Very customizable. Let's talk a little bit about the code. We have trains that are set up to follow along spline-based rail systems. Spline-based rails are very easy to set up, very easy to customize their paths around the worlds, their lengths. Uh, when the train moves, there's something very particular about its movement. It doesn't just follow the rail, it actually fo follows the wheels. The wheels follow the rails. And when you see a train going around turns, the difference between the train car following the rails and the wheels following the rails is kind of night and day as far as how realistic it looks overall. If we zoom in close here, let's wait for this train to come around. You'll notice as the train slows, we can actually see the wheels slowing down and the bogies articulating based on the railroad track they're following. As the train speeds up and slows down, the meta sounds for the bogies or wheel trucks and for the engine actually adjust. You have a louder engine sound when the engine goes faster and of course louder wheel sounds going along the tracks as the train moves faster. If the train is stationary, like those red boxcars are, then the boxcars make no sound, the train makes a small idle sound. And of course this horn, which is set to loop every several seconds. You can hear it from a very far distance away. It has some uh, Doppler effect applied to it. And you'll notice this train is also set to loop around its rail, even though the rail is not a loop. You can choose whether you want your train to go to the end and stop, or simply loop back to the beginning. That's about all there is to show here. Go ahead and check out the quick start videos to see how to set up a rail and a train like this in under five minutes. Uh, I also want to mention, this is all customizable. You can set up your own train cars, your own custom meshes, not just the colors. Replace the whole mesh, do whatever you want with it. Uh, of course, also, if you would like, replace the train rails. Highly customizable. But if you simply need a modern diesel train look, then everything you have is already in the content pack out of the box.